Today is December 26th, so I've been busy doing fun things with the family, but about a week ago I went to the American Legion Hall on Winton Road for a train show. In earlier train show bargain videos, I've mentioned a seller who only wishes to be known as Bill. I've said it before, but Bill is great. Almost everything I bought that day came from his table, and I'll start with these flat cars. They're missing their wheel assemblies, but I've got plenty of those. And I think I even bought them from Bill about a year ago. Except for one special item that I'll share at the end, everything in this video was sold to me by Bill, including this little Chesapeake and Ohio caboose. It's not for me, but for a friend who is a Chessie System Rail fan. For $2, what person from Southern Ohio could pass this up? It's in really good shape, and it even comes with a box. Not too bad. Bill was actually saving this for me behind his table because he knows that I like to repaint and customize trains. It used to be his dad's, and I was very touched that he would entrust its future to me, so I'll save it until I can think of something special to do with it. And I'm not even going to mention the price because it was just too good. He even threw in a book about German tanks from World War II. So thanks a lot, Bill. I hope you and your family had a really great Christmas. December was a good month for me in regards to Williams locomotives. Earlier, I had purchased this one from eBay for a total of just under 70 bucks, which includes shipping and tax. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. This was on a table from a seller I've bought from before also. He sold me a boxcar at the Lakota show and a couple of Lionel engines from a church show in Milford. He's a really nice guy too, like most of the people at these events, and I asked if I could pick up and examine this Amtrak unit. From its weight, I could tell right away that it was a motorized locomotive but the price sticker seemed more like a number for a dummy unit. I asked if it worked, and he said yes. There were test tracks available, but I've seen him before and trusted him, so I didn't even bother checking. And I think that's the case with most of the people here. We're all just model train enthusiasts, and no one is here trying to scam anybody. Just like the man said, it works. Forwards, backwards, just fine. And it's strong too. These F7 dummy units are heavier and have a greater rolling resistance than passenger cars for some reason, but the P42s have no trouble pulling any of it. Oh yeah, I guess I should mention the price. The sticker said $65, and maybe I have a face that makes people take pity on me, but this came home with me for only 55 bucks. No shipping, no sales tax. I had to spend a little bit of gas money to get there, and it cost $5 to get in, but I left that day very, very happy. And that happiness wasn't just because of the prices on these trains that I bought. But I was happy too, because I got a chance to talk to some other people who enjoy this hobby just as much as I do.
Check the internet for train shows like this one or others if you're not in Cincinnati. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching because this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.